Tesla took everyone by surprise when they announced the new Model S and Model X at January's earnings call. In this video, we're going to show you the top 10 new features and why Elon Musk once again has everyone around the world talking about them. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. At number 10, let's start with their slightly changed exterior. The exterior of both models overall doesn't look much different, but a few changes were made. Both models now include a black trim where the chrome used to be, as well as an updated front. The front grille and front splitter seems to be bigger and the fog light seems to be narrower, which overall makes the design of both cars cleaner. The Model X has slight changes to the lines, as you can see here, and the Model S will have a new panoramic glass roof. Tesla claims that it is now using new advanced tires in the new Model S and Model X that should result in a smoother ride. From the pictures, the played models seem to have wider flared fenders, likely to house wider tires and wheels for more grip that will be needed with all that extra power. All exterior changes are very subtle as the real focus has clearly been in the interior. Number nine, the all new touchscreens. Let's talk about the changes to the touchscreens as well as the addition of a second one at the back. Yes, the Model S and X will have a pair of touchscreens for both front and rear passengers. The front screen is still 17 inches, but now horizontal and is powered by an onboard computer boasting up to 10 teraflops of power. It can also tilt, which is something the previous one couldn't do. Rear seat passengers don't have to be deprived of screen time as they also get their own screen mounted to the central tunnel. What we know about it so far is that they will definitely be able to play video games and watch films and the two screens will potentially be interactive with each other. So both models will now have three screens in total, including the one on the dashboard. Number eight, both new models will have Tesla's next generation airwave climate control system. First introduced in the Model 3, the new version utilizes glass surfaces and screens to direct adequate airflow to the passengers. This design creates the impression that the air is blowing out of the screens. The vents are now even better hidden than the Model 3 and Model Y, resulting in a very simple interior. Number seven, shifted seats in the new Model S. This is a change only for the Model S and it has to do with the comfort of the rear passengers. The front seats were relocated slightly forward and the back seats are now reclined to offer more legroom and headroom to the passengers. In addition, the second row seats of the new model fold flatter than in the current model, making the boot more spacious. At number six, probably the most noticeable change, an aviation inspired steering wheel. Tesla likes to bend the fundamentals. This sci-fi looking steering wheel is no longer wheel shaped and is actually called a yoke. It's a rectangle cut in half. You'd normally find something like this in a plane. And while it looks very cool and similar only to the Roadster and Cybertruck, it might not be completely legal. It is still unclear whether it's unconventional shape is allowed on the roads or if it will be allowed by the time the cars are launched. There is also talk about whether it's actually safe and convenient to be missing half of the steering wheel. We can't really judge until we try it, but one thing is certain, it definitely makes the new Tesla models look even more futuristic. Number five, there are no longer any stalks on the steering wheel. Tesla has already been moving lots of its features into the touchscreen interface, so it doesn't surprise us that it did this to the gears. When the question of how someone can shift gears came up on Twitter, Elon Musk answered, no more stalks, car guesses drive direction based on what obstacles it sees, context and nav map. You can override on touchscreen. And indeed, a newly added vehicle icon in the top left corner of the center display is likely where drivers will shift gears in the new Model S and X. Not only it's a new icon, but it's also always on screen regardless of what else is being displayed. Number four, faster acceleration for the Model S. When Tesla moves, it moves fast. The fastest mode so far was the Ludicrous Plus mode, which could take a Model S from 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds. According to Elon Musk, with the right tires, the new Model S will be able of 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds. This insane acceleration will be possible with the three motor variant of the Model S and a new and more compact battery architecture. 
Tesla claims that the new Model S with the updated powertrain is the fastest accelerating production car ever made. Number three, both models receive updates to their autonomous driving systems. The new X and S will now be able to drive themselves on the motorway from on-ramp to off-ramp, automatically changing lanes to avoid traffic and to overtake other road users as they see fit. In addition, Tesla's auto park function has improved. The car can now park itself in parallel and perpendicular with a single touch. At number two, we have the wireless chargers and the active noise cancellation. No more USB cables. Based on the pictures, both models will have four wireless chargers, two at the front and two at the back. They will also have an active noise cancellation system. Car manufacturers have always tried to achieve noise cancellation for the comfort of their passengers. But the word active implies that Tesla won't just focus on making the cars soundproof, but it will actively be releasing sound waves that will cancel out the noise coming from the outside. If this is what they actually mean, then it will be a very advanced feature that very few luxury cars have right now. At number one, we have a feature that's probably going to be very sought after should Tesla make it happen. The new Model S is said to have 520 mile range in its upcoming Play Plus model. This is a very significant update given its current 2020 model has a 320 mile range. Being able to drive that far on a single charge is a game changer for many as it means fewer stops and faster trips. Wondering when you can get your hands on these new cars and how much they cost? If you order either model today, you should expect delivery by 2022. The 2021 Tesla Model S long range starts at $79,990 with dual motors and all wheel drive, no more 69 for 20. While the tri-motor played version starts at $119,990. Tesla is also releasing the played plus version of the Model S, which will start from $139,990. As for the new Model X, the base 2021 long range starts at 89,990. The Model X played starts at $119,990. Let us know in the comments what you think of these features and whether you think they'll be worth the money. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.